What's up? I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I got to check out some really cool stuff at Hamvention for POTA. I even brought some of it home. Plus, I got a sneak peek at a new antenna coming out from Wolf River Coils. I stopped by the Wolf River Coils booth at Hamvention. I wanted to see what they had that was new. This year, they have an enhanced version of the 102-inch whip. That's the standard whip that comes with the Take It Along uh, TIA antenna. Uh, it's enhanced, it's double crimped, it's going to be a lot more rigid, just like the 213-inch enhanced whip that they released last year. I also got a look at the upcoming Platinum Mini Bullet. This will allow 500 watts sideband, 200 watts CW, and 100 watts digital or FT8. Unlike the original silver bullet antenna uh, which allows for just 20 watts on digital modes uh, they did make an improvement when they did the sporty 40 which allows for 75 watts of uh, digital uh, but the new uh, platinum mini bullet should be released sometime this fall all right hey mike so i'm james kn4 neh uh, i'm the ceo here at ham radio prep and the world radio league so you know us from ham radio prep the technician just general amateur extra we just released the new amateur extra license class so if you're working on your extra just know that the question pool updates on july 1st so study the new 2024 2027 um, we're technologists here so we've got mobile apps for all of that as well but what we're really debuting here at the Hamfest is our new logging software, worldradioleague.com. And we just had a huge release yesterday. A lot of the stuff is still in beta. So Max N4ML over there is uh, demoing the desktop version, if you can kind of see. Uh, but I'll give you like a quick demo of the uh, mobile app. Um, if you want to get involved in that, just go to worldradioleague.com and sign up for the free account so I can add you to the beta. But uh, I'll kind of show you what it's all about. So if you come into the app, you'll just see your logbooks uh, at first. So I've got a number of ones I've just been creating as tests here. And I'll create a new logbook. Uh, so you can give it any kind of name you want to. I'll just type some random characters there. But um, you can just do a general log. But in this case, if I'm doing a POTA activation, I can just add POTA. And it's going to go ahead and just grab the parks that are closest to me. So if you know the uh, park number, it has autocomplete. So you can just type in the, uh, you know, the name or something like that if you're looking for a particular one. Otherwise, I'll just select one that's close by me. And that's maybe that's the park I want to activate. It'll go ahead and grab my um, country, state, grid. You can even add multiple parks too. So if you're, if you're you know, going for a twofer or something like that, you can do that. And then you click save. And then you're up and logging. So from that new logbook that I just created. It's got my park. Uh, you know, you've got your call sign search. So as you start to type uh, call signs in, that's my call there. It'll look you up in the database, get your location from there. Uh, you know, if you have a profile picture in the app, it pulls the data like that too. Um, and then, you know, of course you've got your, where you enter your frequency, you've got notes. Um, you got stuff like that and um, also really uh, some really cool features that we have that make it nice for POTA when you're logging is uh, it'll auto spot you to the POTA network so you can do a POTA auto spot so that you don't have to hop over to the POTA app to spot yourself you can respot yourself and then also since we've got all the spots coming in from POTA if this person we know that they're at a park and they've been act I think we do a two-hour cutoff it'll get their park number two, so it'll automatically give you your, your park to park. This is called the demonstrator up. edition, it's clear. Is it? It's 5.5 amp hours, so you're gonna have... It's it, technically six, but I rate them at 5.5. Right. So what is that one hour wise? I'm trying to math this in my 71 head. watt hours. 71 watt hours, yeah. yeah. So. I also picked up a six meter portable Yagi from Momo Beams. I was using simply a six meter speaker wire dipole before, so this should be a drastic improvement when it comes to uh, gain. I also picked up some of these power pole field connectors, which will make it real easy to do a repair in the field if I need to. And of course, what's Hamvention without stickers? I got quite the nice haul there. All right, that'll do it. 
I'm uh, really looking forward to the six meter Yagi, uh, especially with the June VHF contest coming up. Plus, my understanding is summer is usually the time for uh, six meter propagation. So looking forward to getting that on the air and seeing how it goes. Uh, and the field connectors I purchased, those are definitely going to come in handy. I'm going to throw one in my battery box and then the other two in my uh, bags with my 705 and 7300. Um, and lastly, the stickers, I gotta, I gotta decorate my water bottle and laptop and, uh, and whatnot with those. Thank you to everyone who was handing out stickers. It was great to see you and it was great to see everyone else. I had an absolute blast at Hamvention. It truly is the people that make ham radio so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like, subscribe to my channel. And if you got a comment or question, just leave it down below. I'm Mike N2MAK73.